Hello and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Thursdays. My name is Swiss and today we're going to be going over the practical uses of snakes back air. And we'll be going through how it works, how the move works, practical uses for it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So first things first, we're going to dive into how the move works so that way you guys are aware of how the move works in general. So with the back air, you can see up here in the green section that it starts on frame 7. So that's pretty fast forward back air. Uh, there are multiple types of the back air. There's a strong hit and then there's a weak hit. You can kind of see by the picture here that the colors are dark in the beginning to show that the that it's a strong hitbox and then when the colors are lighter that shows that this, that's the weak hitbox um, it is a little unsafe on shield minus 13 14 15 depending on you know how late you get the back air or when you get the back air and it starts on 7 to 9 that's going to be the strong hit so frame 7 to 9 is the strong hit and then 10 to 26 is the weak hit and basically looking at the frames you can see that this move lasts a very long time especially the weak hit so that's really, really good for us. Uh, 42 frames all together, 19 frames landing lag, you can see under the picture there. Um, and it auto cancels on frame 40 onward. That just means that um, if you if you full hop it or double jump it, then when you land, there's not gonna be any form of landing lag. And you can kind of see the base damage. So it's 16% when you get the strong hit, then it goes down to 14, then 10, and then nine. That's pretty much how that move works. Now, I do also wanna mention that with the hitbox there is a little bit of a disjoint here like under snake and a little bit far from his feet so it has a bit of a disjoint which is pretty good uh the the disjoint under him is really good too because it's going to help beat out projectiles uh like um like nikita or you know pk thunder if someone's you know trying to hit you with pk thunder or mario's fireballs and so on and so forth so Certain projectiles, you can just back air it and it'll actually just cancel it out. But anyways, we're going to go back into the game. We're going to go a little bit further into detail about back air and how to use it. So going back to the frame data real quick, uh, if you guys saw the hitbox, you would notice that the hitbox only covers Snake's legs. It does not cover his torso or anything up above the hip. So basically when you're using the back air, you have to make sure that you're using it in a way where only the legs are going to be used instead of the torso because if you trade with anything on the top half then you're going to get beat out by it so definitely make sure that you're lined up correctly for the legs instead of the upper body and there's a lot of ways to use back air and primarily the ways that you want to use back air are with landing neutral edge guarding and nade conversions we're going to go each and every single one of course to show you guys and help you guys out with using the move so let's go ahead and get into that now the first step is going to be landing and using back air as a landing option can be good or bad it's got pros and cons i would say you know definitely mix up your options when you are landing from above so when you're coming up high if you notice that your opponent is coming up to try to chase you trying to get a back air out and fast follow it to try to hit them before they come up to you is really going to be good now it's not going to work on every single matchup of course it's really all dependent like if a palutena keeps coming up to you to back air i mean to like up air you uh, i would say don't use up your back air unless you're confident that you can get the back air out before they can actually hit you with an up air then go for it but if they already have that up air out do not use back air because certain up airs or aerials are far more disjointed than what snake's back air is so pretty much you're going to end up losing to it now if your opponent is just standing there and they're waiting for you to like maybe be reverse or you know come down with maybe a different option or air dodge or something and then instead you just come down with the back air that could definitely help you out as well um you don't want to use it like up too high to where they can actually be able to predict it and like react to it so if anything try to do it like a little bit closer to the ground like that and that will push them away if they get hit of course and then you'll be able to land safely and then go back into the neutral uh, if you are also like off of the ledge and you want like around here you want to come back in 
you can come in with a back air. And that's something a lot of people do as well. I would again say to not be like too focused on using it and to only use it as a mix up because if you miss, then you can get punished pretty heavily for it. And also if you're coming up high like this, like in this area and you come down with the back air, a lot of experienced players are gonna know that you're going to back air. So what they'll do is they'll step back and then they can hit you with a F smash or you know, punish you either way because they'll know that you're gonna go for the back air and they'll force you to whiff the back air and then you'll get punished for it. So again, use it as a mix up option. I mean, you can do it like once or twice, but if you're playing an experienced player, more than likely they're gonna know what's going on. They'll force you to whiff and then they'll punish you because again, the move has a lot of landing lag. So again, be very, very careful when you're using it. And another use for back air as far as landing goes is it like if you're on the ledge, you could do a B reverse C4 and then do a back air. Now again, uh, it's not something that you should probably use all the time. It can work some of the times if your opponent doesn't expect it. But again, if you, if you whiff or you miss, then you're open for a heavy punish. Now we're going to talk about my favorite use of the back air and that's using it in the neutral. Now with the neutral, when you're using it, instead of like coming in for dash attack all the time or down tilt, like in my previous video, we talked about down tilt. You can also mix it up with back air and using back air is pretty good because some aerials that your opponents may use may actually like the back air may actually just beat that. So, or it could cause a trade. So if we look at something, let's say like Falco's forward air, uh, Falco's forward air is a multi-hit uh, forward air. And basically if you trade that with back air, you're looking at about 16% versus a multi-hit move, which is only going to do like two or 3%. So the trade is gonna be a lot better for you. So you may get some trades in. Now, if you're a little too scared about using the back air, I would say to try to focus on actually getting it to, getting like the tip of it. So if you back air, like right here, and they shield it, you can try to go into prone. And some people, some grabs in this game cannot grab snake when he's prone this way with back facing, or you know, thickness facing your opponent. So they may not be able to actually shield grab you. But um, if you can space it correctly, like here, then your opponent's gonna have a hard time actually punishing it because of how far you're going to be. And in that case, if you miss, you can also mix it with like a down tilt or something. So you could do like a turnaround down tilt because you already end in the prone position after using the back air. But yeah, I would say focus on spacing it or possibly like crossing up with it so you end up behind them and then you can hit them that way as well. That's pretty much what you want to do with the neutral. Um, I highly recommend it too, if you're going to, if you see your opponent jumping a lot, back air is going to be really good, especially raw back air, because a lot of people don't really expect that. Um, and when they're jumping a lot, you know, you can double jump it, you can, you know, short hop it, full hop it, or whatever the case is. But that's primarily what you want to do as far as using the back air and the neutral. And again, you know, making sure that you try to go for like a cross up or just spacing it perfectly to where only the, the feet are landing instead of like the actual legs. And that can help you out as well. If you go up too high too, like let's say, let's say this guy's shorter, right? Like let's say Bowser's shorter and let's say I double jump it or something. You can use still the late hitbox to hit them. All right, so again, that's why back air is so good because it lasts so long. Because even if you miss or like, let's say it's a peak chew and you full hop it accidentally, you could try to fast fall it and still hit them with the late hit box. So that's primarily why you want to use back air and neutral. And it's a lot better than neutral air too because neutral air doesn't have like a disjoint or it's not like as strong in my opinion as far as back air goes. Um, the range is much better on back air too. So you have a better chance of catching trades or getting the back air to come out to hit to hit first rather than the neutral air because of the range so now we're going to go over edge guarding with back air and there's a couple ways you can actually use back air as an edge guard so if you have a grenade here let's say to cover the roll distance and they jump from ledge you can use the back air to cover that option also since the back air lasts so long you can use it to cover like the neutral get up options such as that and that's pretty much like the main reasons to use back air because of how long it lasts. You can also like have grenade on the neutral get up standpoint and then use a back air here to try to cover the roll if you can. Um, that's another way to use back air. And 
You can also use the off stage. So it's really good at covering teleport recoveries because again, how long the uh, the hitbox lasts for on back air. So when they teleport, you can hit them that way and then they'll be forced to tech from a stage spike. Uh, you can also use it as a ledge trump. And using it as a ledge trump, all you gotta do is just grab the ledge right when they do and then they'll hop back and then you can hit them with a back air. So that's another way to do that. Uh, some up Bs also trade with snakes back air. So you could try to get that trade if you can, and then you can force them in a, a worse situation if they don't really have like the best recovery. And that's primarily why you'd want to use back air as far as the edge guarding standpoint goes. And so the final thing we're going to go over is working off of nade conversions with back air. And basically when someone is behind you off of a grenade, then that's when you want to use the back air because when they're in front of us, we normally want to use neutral air or, you know, some people also use forward air, but when they're behind you, back air is going to be what you want to do. If you get them from a down throw, you can get a back air that way. Or if you shield a grenade and they're behind you, you can get a back air as well. So short hop back air at like, um, pretty much low percents or if they're like super heavy like Bowser and they're at 60% you could just do a full hop back air and then depending on percents the higher the more you got double jump so if they're at a high percent you should be double jumping uh, also if they're if you're recovering up high let's say like that and then you can come down with the back air if you do land the C4 and then you can get some extra damage that way as well so back air is going to be a good a good option if they're above you uh, some people like to go for up air because that's pretty much the sauce as people would call it uh, which is understandable but uh, you know up air covers more of a vertical line and then back air covers more covers more of a horizontal line so you have a better chance of landing the back air than you would with the up air in my opinion and that's pretty much what you want to do as far as like nade conversions goes with back air. But uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And my name is Swiss. Thank you so much for coming by and watching the video. Check out the channel, sub to the channel. I have other social media platforms down below. Thank you so much, everyone. And I'll see you all on the next video. Bye now. Never duplicate you, never multiply two. Everyone copy your pace, mask all up in on their face. This new fantasy can't be haste. They all cool with their complaints. Uh, uh, uh. You feel it in you? Then you brush it off you. It's significant, but you got something we want. And your whole life is a taunt. Cause you will not just comply. Waking up for your day.